Hi everyone, it's Samantha from The Dancing Soap Dish here. I hope you're well. Uh, today I wanna to show you these glorious smelling eucalyptus soap bars that I've recently made. And they're a little bit special because I use custom soap molds that I made with this wooden stamp set. As you can see, there's a stamp set here. The theme is Australian flora. It's got some beautiful Australian plants there. And this is my tweak of the week, how to create custom soap designs using rubber stamps. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, so as you can see here, I've just got a standard wooden stamp. So for example, here's a butterfly that I've used. That's your typical rubber stamp that you find just in craft shops and department stores, nothing special there. Um, I've used these ones as well. I think they're really pretty. I've even got some writing here, a thank you that I've managed to incorporate. It's very simple to do. So first of all, you just take your stamp. And um, like I said, this is a standard rubber stamp. You get, it's mounted on a wooden block. There's the piece of rubber and then a piece of foam. And they're actually not stuck down very well. They just sort of use a tacky sort of double-sided tape to stick them down. So you can actually peel it off. But before I peel it off, I'm actually gonna use a craft knife just to cut around uh, the shape of this butterfly. And um, I mean, you could peel it off and then cut around uh, on a cutting mat, but um, this way I'm actually using the wooden block and the foam sort of as the base to cut on. So I'm not gonna ruin <laughs> the surface that I'm working on. I'm just gonna speed this up here, but it's very easy to do. It's um, very soft rubber, so it's very easy to cut through that top layer there. And uh, I'm just making sure I keep as close to the edge of the design as possible. And then see how easily I can, actually I've changed my mind. I'm actually gonna just peel back the butterfly. There we go, instead of peeling off the whole thing, I'm just gonna peel back the butterfly and then if I do want to use the stamp as a stamp again, I can just pop the butterfly back in place. That won't be an issue. So I'm very carefully just pulling back the butterfly that I've cut around from the stamp. There you go. And now I have this rubber butterfly design. Uh, it's a bit tacky on the back still, which is good, which means it will stick to my mold. So that's a good thing. And you can see how very quick and simple that was to do. So I'm also going to cut around all these stamps too. I have this little stamp set that I just picked up from my local department store. Uh, it's got some uh, beautiful flora images in it. I have a branch from a paper bark tree. There we go. And I have some wattle. Very pretty. I have a gum leaf and a gum nut. And also I think that's a wattle branch and just the words thank you as well. I'm just going to check that it's easy to peel them back. Yep, yeah, so this is just the same as the butterfly. Very easy to get that off there once I've cut around that design. So we are good to go. I'm going to get my knife and start cutting around these. Uh, so when you're selecting stamps to do this with, uh, you want to make sure that you have ones that are easy to cut around. So pick bold patterns or block patterns. Um, try not to go for anything too intricate. Like for example, the thank you word that I have here, it's going to be really hard to cut around that. Uh, so I'm going to have to come up with a solution for that. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're selecting your stamps. You want to pick something that you're easily able to cut around. So I've now finished cutting around all of my designs. I don't need the blocks anymore, so I'm gonna move those out of the way. Uh, and you can see here on the back that I have tried to retain as much of the um, tape, double-sided tape, tacky tape as I could, so that they will stick to the mold. Uh, here is the thank you that I did. Um, my solution, instead of trying to cut around the words, was I actually just cut sort of like a decorative block a rectangle with the corners truncated there. 
I'm going to see how that looks. Um, all the others were okay. They've, um, they're a bit tacky on the back, so I don't have a problem there. And um, I am ready to get started. So now I'm just going to bring over a, a standard silicon soap mold. I've chosen this rectangular one. And I'm going to start placing the um, stamps down inside the mold in the position that I want them in. I'm going to start with this eucalyptus leaf. And they sort of just hang from the trees, these gum leaves. So there we go. I'll just put it like that. And I will pair it with, um, actually, it's, it's flower. So this is the flower that will turn into a gum nut. There they go. That's how they sort of look in the trees. I like that. Uh, I'm just pressing down on them to, to stick them down, make sure they, um, they stick to the mold as best as they can. There we go. Just positioning my beautiful butterfly here. Uh, this one, I'm actually going to stick a piece of double-sided tape on it just to help it stick to the bottom of the mold. I don't want it moving or floating when I pour my soap in. So that's an easy way to do it. Also spray adhesive. I don't have any spray adhesive, but if you do have some spray adhesive and your stamps aren't quite tacky on the back, just give them a spray before you um, push them down into the mold just to get them to stay there. There we go. Here's my wattle flower and my wattle leaf. I'm going to position those two. Yeah, I like that. Very simple to do. And lastly, my paper bark branch. There we are. Just pop that in there. So there we go. Now that, I'm pretty happy with that. The designs that I want um, my soap to look like. And the next step now is to um, melt some soap base and pour it into the molds. So I'm going to make four 85 gram soap bars or three ounce soap bars. So I'm just weighing out uh, my soap base. Uh, I'm going to need um, 12 ounces or about 400 grams with some wastage. Um, so that's what I am piling in here now. I'm using a clear soap base which I will tint to a eucalyptus green color. Oh, well, that's my attempt at a eucalyptus green color anyway. And I will scent with eucalyptus essential oil. Now that I am happy with the color and the scent, I'm going to prepare my molds uh, to be filled to make sure I get even weight uh, soap bars. I've put my soap mold on a tray and then I'm gonna put that tray on top of some kitchen scales. Um, and I'm just positioning it so that the majority of the weight is on top of the scales. I get more accurate reading that way. And so I can weigh out each soap bar and reset the scales to, to zero in between. I'm just going to pour a little bit into the mold and then spray it with um, isopropyl alcohol and give it a bit of a tap. Uh, this is to make sure that no bubbles get stuck um, around the stamp. And then I'm going to pour the rest of the mold. Again, give it another spray to get rid of the bubbles. Again, pouring a small amount, giving it a spray and a tap before topping up the rest of the mold. My soap base is start starting to set, as you can see there, so I need to speed things up work quite quickly there we go here's soap bar number three so it's a very simple process uh, once you've cut your rubber stamps out to just position them in the mold make sure they're stuck down so that the soap won't seep underneath them and then pour your soap on top there we go and just add a little bit more to top up each of them. There we go. Looks like that soap set <laughs> just as I poured it. And I'll let those set overnight. So here we are the next day. It's time to demold these. So I'm just going to ease them 
out of the silicon mold and the stamps are still stuck in them but that's fine that's what i expected but by the looks of it not too much soap has seeped in between the rubber stamp and the mold so that's really good maybe just a little bit on that one where the bottom wasn't quite as tacky there we go so that shows you how important it is to make sure that those stamps are really stuck to the mold uh, now I'm just going to get my knife again and I'm just going to try and use the knife to just sort of pry up a corner of the mold. Just sort of push it forward so that I can pick it up with my fingernail or so that the edge of the mold is pushed up so I can peel it away from the soap. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good it says thank you if there are any frayed edges or soap overhanging you can use your craft knife to carefully clean that up there we go there we thank you that's what it says okay i'll try and peel back this butterfly very carefully there we go all you need is just one edge to come up and then you can pull away the rest. There we go. I really love that. It's, it's a really nice look. And I think the thank you looks good, even though it's, it's in a block, it works. And I think it's much neater than if I'd tried to cut around the words that could have ended in disaster. Uh, next, I'm trying to pop out this wattle mold. There we go. That's looking pretty good too. Just got a little bit of soap that's overhanging one of these leaves here. So I'm just scraping it back with the knife. And there we go. Can pull that back there. Just cutting off a little bit of overhang. That looks good too. So yeah, so this one you can see the bottom wasn't stuck down as well because I was missing some of the double-sided tape. I probably should have stuck that down with something else. Um, so yeah, I'll need to clean that one up a bit, but it's okay. And here's the gum leaf that came out really well. And the little gum nut flower. Beautiful. Well, I think, you know, for a first try, those came out really well. And you can see what sort of lovely designs you can make with rubber stamps. So if you have some rubber stamps with a theme that you're wanting to try or just some really pretty ones that you like the look of, give them a go. And uh, you can make your own custom soap molds with rubber stamps. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and tweak of the week. Uh, if you love what we do here at The Dancing Soap Dish, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out all our other tweaks of the week in their special playlist on this YouTube channel. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.